Utilizing cover and concealment is important, but not as important as protecting your loved ones. Thanks for joining us for today's active self-protection lesson. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Puerto Rico. The new Mantis X10 firearms performance system has all the goodness of the original, plus holster draw analysis and recoil analysis. It's a fantastic upgrade and I recommend it highly. Bunch of different news stories says this is from all over the world, but what we see is a guy with his family and two dudes come up on him and one just starts shooting. And every news story I've seen said, this was some kind of an assassination attempt, though it might have been an armed robbery. You see that guy just finally, you know, drive those that dude off. I don't even know if he got a shot off and his family's able to get inside. Let's see it one more time. Our guy here is paying attention. As soon as he sees these guys coming, he gets his gun out and that causes the other guy to start shooting. But the pole there in between them takes all the shots. It uses a cover effectively. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Everybody runs off. The bad guy runs off. Our good guy is able to get his family inside. And that is where this one ends. Holy cow, what a cat and mouse game. If you wanna get better as a self-defender, one of the ways you can do that is by finding us on our Facebook page. Just load up your Facebook app, search Active Self Protection, and like that page to get stuff from all over the web every day to help you be a better self-defender. Let's think about lessons. Two things our intended victim is doing right as we get started. Number one, he is carrying his firearm, and that is a way to win a lot of gunfights. It's just to have your gun on you, no matter what it is. That is a fight changer. Number two though, he is standing in a place that he can see the street and I think that is just as important. Because he is standing in a place that he can see things coming, he has an opportunity here to see these bad guys coming. Again, attention buys you time, time buys you options. The options are broader when you have your force multiplier on them. So carry your gun, make sure that you've got that, you know, and you're paying attention. Now then, this point right here, I stopped it right this second, is where our good guy made the decision to draw his firearm. He is seeing to our left and his left as well and seeing, okay, wait a minute, these are bad guys coming and I have to draw my handgun. The big thing we're gonna focus on from here is why I tell you all the time you wanna be fast with your handgun uh, out of the holster and get that first shot on target because that's the way to end threats. And if you don't have speed out of the holster, then it really dampens your ability to, to affect a gunfight immediately. So if our good guy has a one second draw to first shot, once he decides to go, so it's human performance, that quarter second before he started moving, he made that decision, oh no, I gotta go, and then his brain says go. If he had a 1.0 draw to first shot, this is the look that he gets at our bad guy. Bad guy is just jumping off the back of the bike, got his gun down. If our good guy is fast enough with his gun, that he's got his gun out and a shot on target at 1.0, he has every advantage against this bad guy, and this bad guy is in a world of hurt because he's gonna have a bullet in him. So this is why we talk about that being our black belt standard. If our good guy has a 1.5 second draw to first shot, this is what it looks like. Our bad guy does have the gun up, but we have not gotten a shot from our bad guy yet. Instead, our good guy here realizes, oh no, I don't have the speed to go get this guy. So he starts moving laterally. Now a lateral movement is not bad and is actually quite good and may well have saved him here. But I think a fast draw to first shot would have been better in this case to start putting bullets in the bad guy and start making him think about hurting rather than shooting. That said, this is the look he would have got at 1.5. At 2.0 draw to first shot, this is what we see when our bad guy's gun goes off. So a 2.0 draw to first shot would have been at the very limit of you know being able to have a 50-50 against this bad guy, whether or not he can get inside there. Now then, I think it's very interesting here to recognize and say, hey, wait a minute a fast and reliable draw to first shot from a standing position is something that we see is necessary in private citizen gunfights all the time. So get good. That is the preeminent skill to win more gunfights and for good people to prevail. Now, next thing I do want to notice here is he's shooting. I want you to notice that this guy's wife and little one are right on top of him. And here is an administrative thing I want all self-defenders to think about talking with their family about. The thing that I have told my family many times is that if you ever see my gun, if bad things are happening, I want you to get down and get away from me, not towards me, away from me because I'm about to draw fire and bad things are coming and the bad guy is gonna be focused on me because I'm gonna be shooting at him. So get down and get away from me. Instead, I think they were looking to get behind the pole, whatever, and that increased the danger for everybody. Now, thankfully here, we see the difference between cover and concealment. In this particular instance, cover mattered. The guy is shooting at him and that this cover stopped bullets. And it's very rare that we see that actually make a huge difference in private citizen gunfights, but here it did and that is not a nothing. And so again, cover 
is a thing when somebody is shooting at you, although normally a bad guy will not shoot at somebody that they cannot see. That is very typical here in this particular case. Cover was important and it was effective. Now, thankfully he ran off and again, our, our bad guys decided, nope, an armed guy is not somebody they wanna mess with. And I don't even know if he got a shot off, quite frankly, but it doesn't matter. The mere presence of the firearm got these guys to get the heck out of here. Thankfully though, the baby wasn't hurt, his wife wasn't hurt, they were able to get to a safe place. So as soon as you can, get yourself out of the danger zone. Everything came out okay here, praise God for that. Let's learn the lessons about being fast and accurate with our gun to cover our ass.